Hey, it's Keith. Right now I'm in a gondola ride um, on Snow Bowl Mountain. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous up here. It's, um, it really reminds me of home. It's got a lot of beautiful fall foliage and uh, it's nice. It also made me realize how much I actually missed the fall from New York and made me really wish that I was there. Um, not really for the cold, but just for the beauty. But I am gonna flip you around so you can see. Um, as we're going up the mountain, it's actually been switching over and we have been getting, getting snow. Um, but if you look out there, there's some beautiful, we can go this way. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So it is supposed to be um, 11,500 elevation, which is crazy. Um, so they they don't make you sign a waiver, but they basically make you um, like say yes, understanding that like you need to stay hydrated and um, you can feel lightheaded or dizzy. And if you do, you need to lay down or let someone know. Um, I think they paid extra special attention to me because I was alone. Um, so that way in case um, I needed help, I knew I needed to talk to someone else, obviously. Um, but I'll take some more footage up at the top. But right now I'm just gonna enjoy the gondola ride. goodness that high altitude kicked my butt I I know I'm out of shape but oh my gosh for the first like 15 minutes I ended up going and having to um, like I just leaned against a pole just to breathe because it just was so um, so thin you felt like you just weren't getting enough air no matter how much you were breathing um, I did use the uh, the highest altitude toilet in Arizona. So, you know, kudos to me. That's pretty cool. Um, it was quite cold staying in the shade waiting for the gondola to come back, but otherwise it was beautiful up there. I mean, it felt like it was 35. It was really nice. Um, I am a little, I'm very excited to go back down where it's nice and warm. <laughs> I'm excited to go get lunch or dinner. It's like almost four o'clock, so, so dinner. But let's see what we got on the way down. Hmm? So we got all kinds of snow. More snow than you know what to do with. So there's a gentleman that um, had some sort of leg injury um, that was waiting in line before us. And it got a little scary because they just um, I know they slowed the gondola so he could get off safely, but being in the middle of the air, it just stopped. Like you're just, just sitting there casually waiting. Um, and the other thing is that the wind affects it. So the gondola is like actually swaying, which as you know, I'm a little chicken. So that was kind of scary. Um, but I mean, obviously I'm glad he could get off safely, but it's something that you're like, um, we're literally sitting in the middle of the air at, I don't know, let's say seven or eight or nine thousand feet. It's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs>
we're going to Omega Mart in Nevada, which is about two hours from Kingman. And when we were driving, we just happened to see signs for the Hoover Dam and Grandma Kowalski, shout out to you because you keep talking about how awesome the Hoover Dam is. So we decided to spur the moment, take the random exit two to go to the Hoover Dam. A hot dam. Well, well we're, we're gonna find out how it is. So, yeah, that, that's it. Uh, oh, now the sun, the sun finally was like, oh, it's okay, she's vlogging. I'll stay out of the way now, so it looks nice. Um, I'm very intrigued, this area is not like Kingman. I'm gonna flip it. It's just like sad rocks and sand. I mean, sand rocks is awesome. don't get me wrong, Kingman is also like, rocks and sand, but this is just sad looking.
going on around you. I cannot. I am too busy. Yeah, too go. busy vlogging. I'm too busy and it's vlogging. Not working. I just okay, gotta you can start to... now. You have to start now. <laughs> if you're gonna start, because we've got some shadow. I already started. Now there's 25 seconds of us arguing. <laughs> okay.